Hi, Janet with Heather Canyon. Today I flew over to Las Vegas and I'm going to be going to Utah. And as I flew over, I was watching the geology and we entered the Basin and Range province. So today I'm going to talk a little bit about the Basin and Range and some of the geology of that area. As we started to enter Nevada um, from the air, we could see the geology. And just before we get to Nevada in Arizona, we enter the Basin and Range Province. And this is a pretty extensive area. It covers all of Nevada and parts of all of the surrounding states. And this is kind of what we saw from the air. Um, Nevada is in this valley, and surrounding it are these linear um, mountain ranges. And then there's another valley where Boulder City is, and then another mountain range. And all across this region, we see these linear mountains and linear valleys. And this is the Basin and Range Province. Basin and Range Province formed as Rift Valley. So about 30 million years ago, the western part of the United States started to separate and um, California started to break off away from the rest of the country. And as it did this, um, magma from below the continent was rising up and pushing the crust apart, forming these rift valleys. So the continent got stretched and broken and the area in between got thinned and formed valleys. And on the sides of the valleys, we have the mountain ranges. This is happening today in Africa, the East African Rift Zone. And in Africa, we've got the long mountain ranges. And in between them, there are several very deep lakes. But in Nevada, because it's so much more arid, we don't get lakes. Instead, we get playas. And the playas are extensive, basically dry lake beds that are covered with evaporite deposits. And then off in the distance, we can see the ridges that form on either side of the valleys. So these are the parts that are thrust up and the valleys are dropped down. And a lot of times on the west side of the valleys, the wind blows a lot of the dirt and sand across the valley. And as it comes up and approaches the side of the mountain, it piles up and we get sand dunes. So areas like uh, coral sand dunes and um, various places in Nevada are have these little sand dunes. So the geology in this area is pretty diverse. The mountains um, that are formed on either side have a lot of different types of rocks that are dependent on what was there before. And as a result, the entire region is well known for things like gold and silver and copper. And then the valleys mostly have evaporate uh, sediments. And one of the most common is barite. A lot of barite comes from the Basin and Range province, as well as gypsum and other evaporites that have things like boron in them. So this region is pretty significant geologically and has a lot of gemstones in it because of the geology. And the basin and range formation was the most recent. It started about 30 million years ago and it's technically still continuing today.